Disclaimer, this product was provided to the author to do a review. All opinions are 100% authors and authors alone. To have your product reviewed, visit bit.ly slash review my product. Hey, what is up guys? This is Rohan from dragonlog.com and today I'll be reviewing the iTunes key software. If you have previously created an encrypted backup of your iPhone or iPad on your computer and have forgotten the password, then this software is just the one for you. So let's see how this works out. Firstly, let me quickly create a backup of my iPad on this computer. My iPad is connected to my computer and all my media is showing up on iTunes as well. Click over here and backup. Yeah. Now I don't want the backup to be on iCloud. I want it to be saved on my PC and I want it password protected. So check on this box. Hmm, what should the password be? Let's see. Okay, I'll go with the word dictionary. Uh, let me retype it. And set password. There we go. The backup has started and it will take a few minutes for it to backup. So I'll just skip forward. Alright, my backup is almost done now. Okay, so the backup is finished and it's been saved to this location. As you can see, the file names are all in gibberish. So let's just start up the iTunes recovery software and find my password. So this software is pretty easy to understand. As you can see, we have three recovery methods over here. The first one is the brute force attack which will try all the possible combinations of alphabets, numbers and special characters. Now this is the most time consuming one but this will be your best option if you don't remember your password at all. The second one is the mask attack. This one is helpful if you remember a part of your password. I will show it to you guys in a little while. The last one is the dictionary attack. So this is kind of the fastest way to find your password if it is a word from the English dictionary. So let's just go with this dictionary attack since this is the most logical one since my password is a word that can be found in the dictionary. And next, oops, I forgot to specify the backup location. And the software has already selected the backup location for me. I will need the manifest file and click on open. Next. Okay, so over here it's asking you to specify the dictionary file location but the software already comes with a dictionary so we'll just go with that. And next. So the recovery process has been started. Now this software is graphic intensive so if you have a good GPU then the recovery will be quite faster. I have a GTX 980 so this should be done in a minute or so. All right, so we already have the password. It took me less than a minute to recover the password. So there you have it. This was the dictionary attack. And next we'll go with the mask attack. So I changed the password from dictionary to troller just so I could finish the recovery faster to show it to you guys. So suppose I only remember that my password started with TROL and I don't know the rest of the password. So I'll just add extra question marks after TROL. And let's see if this works or not. Okay, so about a minute in and we already have the password. So far the software is working good. The final and the most advanced and time consuming option is the brute force method. 
Now if you have a longer password then it definitely is going to take you hours since the software has to calculate that many combinations. So for time's sake let's just limit the password to 4 characters and try it. Let me change the previous password and set a new password. The old password. So what should the new password be? Let's try something unique. Like capital F number 4 lowercase t and the hashtag. So copy and paste. And let's start the brute force attack. So over here it will ask you the minimum length and the maximum length. So if you know that your password is of at least something like 4 letters and the maximum of 6 letters then in, you can input those in. I know that my password is somewhere between 1 to 4 letters so I will input that. Down below are the character sets. So my password has both lower and upper case words as well and this number and the special symbol. So I will have those tick marked. And let's run the program. Okay, so you're searching for a combination of three letter words and I don't want to waste my time on calculating that. So I'll just stop the recovery and let's go back and change the minimum length to four characters as well. This is going to take quite a few hours so I'm gonna stop the recording now and I'll see you guys in a while. Alright, I'm back after a couple of hours now and the software has managed to recover a password. So it took the software almost about 5 hours to recover the complex password which had both lower and upper case letters, a number and a special character as well. It will take more time, maybe even a day or more to recover your password if it's a lengthier password but you'll eventually recover your password. So top password provided me with the key of the software so I could test and review the software. And I would say that this is indeed a great recovery software which you can use to recover your backup data. So the iTunes key software is priced at $20 which is quite affordable. And considering the important files, videos, login passwords and everything that you have backed up, you can recover them with this. So go check out the site toppassword.com. I will link it in the description below. Thank you for watching.